Greetings, my name is Andy Carter. I'm a professional engineer in the state of Texas. For this tutorial, we're going to utilize Civil 3D to bring in the National Flood Hazard Map Layer. That's a web map service that should bring in the DFIRM floodplain maps into Civil 3D. So let's get started. I'm going to open Civil 3D, and I'm going to open a drawing. And we're going to use this FEMA WMS test drawing. That's just any general drawing, but in this case, we've got some line work. We've got a simple alignment. The first thing you want to do before you make a query to any web map service is to make sure that the drawing that you're querying into is assigned to a coordinate zone. Simply go to the settings tab, right click on the drawing, say edit drawing settings, and just confirm that you've got a, a coordinate zone set up for the drawing. In this case we're Texas State Plain, Central Zone, and U.S. Feet. It's important to notice that the datum is NAD83. We'll say apply and OK. And now we're ready to query the map service. To do this I'm going to open the map Civil 3D map tab. That's map W space, which I'm typing into the command line at the top of the screen. And we'll just say on. That's going to open your task pane for map. There's this little database column here. We'll right click on that and say connect to data. And we're going to say WMS connection. Now the server name is actually coming from FEMA. It's this hazards.fema.gov slash WMS connector. You see it all here. You can find this online or you can copy it here. I'm just going to copy everything that I see. Control C, switch back to Civil 3D, and Control V, paste it in, and we'll just say connect. It's going to ask for a name and password. Uh, FEMA doesn't actually have one for their map server, so I'm just going to say log in. And there you go. It's queried the Git capabilities. These are the layers that uh, the, the National Flood Hazard Map layer actually has. Um, we're going to query a bunch of them and kind of conglomerate them into one layer. I'm going to kind of expand out the name of the layer itself. We're going to use this Flood Hazard Zones General. You can use the PNG as default. And I'm going to pick a few more. Uh, let's go ahead and pick the streams. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. We'll pick the base flood elevation lines and the cross sections. These are the ones I typically like and it's indicative of the floodplain usually in most areas. Now we're going to combine all that into one layer so make sure that checkbox is checked. We're going to call this DFIRM. Uh, we don't necessarily have to cache it. I'm going to leave everything else as is and we'll say add to map. And there we go. We'll simply close the map connection pane. Notice that there's this DFIRM and we zoomed way out. Uh, for some reason it goes to the wild coordinate zone. You can see that there's a little tick here so we're just going to find our data again. We're going to zoom back in on that data itself. I'm going to right click on this DFIRM and I'm going to say resample raster. And what that's doing is it's going to the National Flood Hazard Data uh, Repository, giant database. It's querying all of their line work, all the DFIRMs. And then it brings in, there you go, it brings in a, a raster itself. So it's taking all those shape files and, and data sources, the geodatabases, and it's burning it into one image and then it rectifies it to the coordinate zone that you asked for. Um, you'll notice this is in the back and it's got a white background and that's not real helpful for us. So let's go ahead and edit the style of that WMS connection. I'm going to want the white to be transparent. So I'm going to hit this transparent button and it's going to say select a color that you would like to be transparent. So we'll select. Let's pick anywhere in that white space. Get a white in the box and we'll be okay. And we'll say apply. And there you go. You've got your your national flood hazard layer in there. It's a raster. You're not going to get any vector information. It's, it's simply just creating an image and pasting it in at the right coordinate system. But what's really nice about this is that if you zoom in on specific area, and you notice it's very pixelated, you can say resample raster. And we'll simply let that do exactly what we asked. Go out to the server and try to find that information that we asked for over the extents that we had zoomed into. And this might take a few minutes. It typically does. Yeah, I think we're still waiting on that query. And there you go. You've actually got a little bit uh, tighter resolution. Notice that the map service, uh, the layers for the creek are being scaled. Um, you can digitize this. You can do a map. And actually, maybe I should show that. We'll do a map export current map to DWG. Very helpful routine and what that does is it actually exports the image. It, it severs the connection on the current query. So you'd get just this view 
but it's a really nice way to, to get this, the data that you need. So that concludes the tutorial. It's really just a simple way to talk to the National Flood Hazard Map Layer and get it into Civil 3D on the coordinate zone that you need. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and, and I look forward to showing you other tidbits in the future. Thank you.